place three stripes at the jawline. The color that seemed to disappear is the right choice. For an even application, place a few dots of foundation on the forehead, nose, cheeks, and chin. Starting at the forehead, begin to blend downward in the direction of hair growth. I prefer to use a foundation brush because many times sponges just absorb the product. Take note of the discoloration from the sun. Everyone looks better with a foundation that's a little bit yellow because it reflects light rather than absorbing it. Use very little foundation under the eyes because you'll be coming back to this area with the concealer. Using a small synthetic brush, apply concealer to the concave areas under the eyes. I use the same technique to cover any redness along the lower lash line. Remember to dab with your ring finger because it has the lightest touch. Applying concealer to this area minimizes the nasal labial folds. Use a bit of Jaffra's eye primer to cover small veins and capillaries that might be visible on the eyelids. Start the contouring process by applying a darker foundation on either side of the nose. Applying a darker foundation under the cheekbones creates the illusion of thinner cheeks. And placing a bit on the chin changes the length of the face. This play of dark and light is a brilliant technique that is often used in the theater. However, close up, it'll seem totally false if it's not blended well. So blend, 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 and blend some more. Blend a bit of the darker foundation into the hairline to match the suntanned area. Using a light corrector changes the form of the face and attracts more light. Here, down the nose to lengthen it, on the cupid's bow to add more volume, and at the eyebrow arch to raise the eyes a bit. Blend everything together for a natural finish. You could also place two dots of white souffle near the tear ducts to draw light to the eyes. 